वेलकम टू इंजीनियरी क्लिनिक रीसेंटली एन एस थ्री हेव लॉन्च ए न्यू वर्षन कॉल डस एन एस हाईफन थ्री पॉइंट फोर जीरो सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू इंस्टा एन एस थ्री पॉइंट फोर जीरो इन ओपन टू ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट जीरो फोर ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम सो वाट आर द प्री रिक्वेस्ट्स वी नीड इस वी नीड ओपन टू ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट जीरो फोर असीम दैट वी हेव जस्ट नाउ इंस्टा ओपन टू ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट जीरो फोर एंड वाट प्रोसीजर वी नीड टू यूज फॉर इंस्टालिंग एन एस थ्री पॉइंट फोर जीरो दिस इज वाट वी आर गोइंग टू सी एंड वी नीड एन एस ऑल इन वन हाईफन थ्री पॉइंट फोर जीरो डॉट टार डॉट बी जे टू सो दिस इज द फाइल दैट वी नीड ए डाउनलोड फ्रॉम देयर वेबसाइट सो वी विल सी दैट सो आफ्टर इंस्टालिंग ओबन टू ऑलवेज फर्स्ट वी हेव टू गिव अ कमेंड कॉल एस सूडो ऐप अपडेट सो दिस इज अ फर्स्ट इवर कमेंड वी हेव टू गिव वेन एनी ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इज बीन इंस्टाड सो एन एस थ्री नीड सम पैकेजेस टू बी इंस्टाड so in the website there are many packages individually might have given so i have combined everything together here and i just given it here below the video description uh, uh, description column i will be giving you the complete command you can simply copy paste it into the terminal for complete installation and uh, so this is what we are going to do actually this uh, video will work out for ns 3.39 as well as ns 3.38 so both these things also the same uh, uh, video will be helpful for you So now first I am doing sudo apt update, and then it will be downloading the packages. So after that I will come and copy the complete full command. I will be copying it. So just copy, and then you just uh, click it and uh, paste it there. So right click and paste it there. So this will be downloading huge amount of files. So according to your bandwidth requirement and according to your uh, system specification, this may take some time to get installed. Since for starting the video, I am just uh, stopping in between for the complete installation process i am not showing so now what we do, what we are going to do is let the installation runs in the meantime we will download the software so how do we download this we have to go to their website nsnam.org that link also i'll be giving you so this nsnam.org you just go and then you can download the latest release so there are many releases there simply uh, search for ns3 and then you can download and then you can uh, install it so the downloadable file usually of a compressed format called as tar.bz2 so there is a file extension so we need to unzip this file insertion or decompress this file into our home folder so always uh, i advise the learners to always uh, use the particular file in the copy the particular file into the home folder because uh, there are many locations like documents downloads desktop there are many locations in linux so i advise you to copy that completely to the home folder so in my case the home folder is slash home slash pradeep kumar so that is my home folder so what you can do is you can download this file so now in the installation if this window is been asked click okay and then uh, press yes so once it is done let the installation goes on now we'll come back here now we have downloaded so we have downloaded the software and it is ready to install and the packages also we have downloaded now this task gets over now we need to use that software to install it so what we have to do is so we have to copy the software into the home folder and then we have to unzip it once unzipping is done we have to issue the commands so that we will be seeing the process so open a new terminal and type the following command so one command is there or else you can go directly you can see that i am just doing the copy go to the home folder actually the file will be downloaded to the download folder from there i copy and pasting it to the home folder now right click there is an option called as extract here so click the option once it is extracted so you can see there will be a window a small circle will be popping out showing that the extraction is over or not so once it is done so the extraction is done now once the extraction is done it might create a folder called as ns all in one hyphen 3.40 now this is what the folder what we wanted so now what we have to do is we just open a new terminal now i have given the instruction on how to extract that now open a new terminal now we are going to install now here is the command we will be using so open a new terminal since it is in the home folder so by default the terminal will be showing the home folder so now we put the command cd ns hyphen all in one hyphen 3.40 then uh, dot slash build.py double hyphen enable hyphen examples space 
double hyphen enable hyphen test so in case if you can uh, uh, you cannot type it correctly you can copy paste from the description window and then paste it in your terminal so once it is done uh, the installation will be processing or the installation will go on so it depends on the speed of your machine the installation might be completing fast or slow so since i am uh, recorded this video in a virtual machine uh, with just 2 gigabytes of ram 2 gb of ram uh, it took almost uh, one hour for the complete installation but in my desktop computer where i have a 32 gigabytes of ram it just took just uh, 15 minutes or less than 15 minutes to install the complete ns alignment package so it depends on it so in case if you want to try out on your standalone machine it will be faster else in a very vm it will be slow so for that you need to have a patience for it so this how the way we can uh, plan the installation now here is the step here so now the open the terminal a cd ns all in one hyphen 3.40 then dot slash build dot py space double hyphen enable hyphen examples space double hyphen enable hyphen tests so once it is done the installation will go on as per the plan now at the end of the installation you will be getting like this in case in if you get any errors you need to rectify those errors if you have any error encounter you please put in the comment box uh, below i will be helping you on how to install it mostly if you follow the procedure exactly you won't get any errors but even if you get some errors you please put the uh, copy paste the error messages so that we can rectify it so now the installation is completed because we got the packages installed and everything get installed to check whether ns3 installed successfully or not there are uh, two or three files we can run it and then check verify whether uh, ns3 installed successfully or not so one command is uh, in the same window or create a new window and open a new terminal so everything you can do in one terminal itself but since if you are a beginner then you can always open a new terminal so first from the beginning we go cd ns all in one hyphen 3.40 then inside that we have one folder ns 3.40 this is what the complete ns folder so inside that we have an executable called as dot slash ns3 the ns3 is an executable so dot slash ns3 run hello hyphen simulator without any gap hello hyphen simulator no blank space so once you run it you will get a command called as you will get output called as hello simulator so that indicates that the ns3 installed successfully also you can write first.cc there is one file called as first.cc that also you can try now see that i am creating a new folder sorry i am creating a new terminal window ns all in one so ns 3.40 then ns3 run hello hyphen simulator so once you try this command you can see that the output it is showing as hello simulator similarly dot slash ns3 run first dot cc first dot cc when you run it you can see that uh, in the first dot example will be running so uh, the server is sending to uh, client and client is sending back to the server so that's how the way the installation is installed and the packages were installed so ns3 is a very easy process to install so now we have successfully installed uh, ns3 so thanks for watching my video so please subscribe if you have not subscribed and please share this video to your friends and uh, students thank you